Homecoming in Virginia ruined by Maryland. And the Terps streaked to four and two and two and zero oh in the ACC. Rich Waltz along with Keith Jones. This is a Maryland team that is young on offense, veteran and really good on defense, and they put on quite a show today. Despite the fact that Virginia ran for a lot of yardage and ran a lot of plays, Maryland did the things they needed to do to win. Well, first and foremost, that is take the ball 100 yards on the opening kickoff, and that's what Stephon Diggs did. And right now Diggs is wanting to partition the uh, ACC or the NCAA so that he gets that extra five or six yards because he was that far back in the end zone when he took off and before you blink. The defense then took over. A, a nice interception by Anthony Nixon set up this pass and run just as Pickett from Perry Hills. And Diggs had another nice reception for 50 or 60 yards. He was everything in the first quarter for Maryland. They come back and get a big block on a field goal right there. Virginia not able to get on the board. Phillip Sims struggled. They got to him and at halftime Maryland had a 17 3 lead. But in the third quarter Virginia came to life. And a great, great throw by Sims right here, even though it's fairly well covered with the defenders back to the quarterback. He didn't get his head around, drops that ball right in. Then they add a field goal, 10 points right out of the block here in the third quarter. 17-13 going into the fourth. A rally by Virginia, but Maryland had an answer, and it was Hills, the true freshman quarterback, that took it in. Well, and he did a great job of protecting the ball. Virginia would come back and score a touchdown on a nice throw, this time by Rocco, who was inserted by Mike Lunton, but it was just too little too late for Virginia to come back with a win. Now, this is the third straight week that Virginia has outgained an opponent by a decisive amount and lost the ball game. Now, well, the two things are turnovers and the penalties. But look at the total plays. Virginia's doing well on offense. They've got to have their defense catch up to them. Well, speaking of catching up, Jen Hildreth caught up with Randy Edsel. Coach, congratulations. Your team just continues to battle into the fourth quarter every game, culminating that big defensive stand. What have you seen, and what is the strength of this defense? It's the togetherness, you know, of it. It's um, guys are surely buying into doing it for each other and doing exactly what their coaches are asking them and to, you know, go out and execute the plan that we have and being very resilient and just, uh, you know, fighting for 60 minutes. And, uh, you know, we're finding a way, you know, and it might not be pretty, but we're winning, and that's part of the process. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to get better, but I love these guys that, you know, the effort, you know, and the will today, you know, they willed themselves to a victory today. How have you seen Perry Hills and your offense continue to grow up with each game? Well, he grows up, but he's also going to give me a heart attack. But uh, I thought he got better today. And there's just little things that we got to work with him on. But you know what? The kid is a competitor. He's a tough kid. He's a winner. You know, and I'm just glad he's leading our team right now. And you guys off the 2-0 and in the ACC. Congrats, Thank you very much. It's quite a story considering that Maryland lost their final eight games of the year last year. Uh, and really, in, in his second year, Randy Etzel has a lot of new players, uh, a lot of young freshmen on this team. You expect maybe they'd be struggling for a couple years, but not so. And new coordinators, which I think may be even a bigger thing. You're bringing in a brand new system, particularly on the defensive side, and these kids have embraced it, and they're running it very well. Despite the fact that Virginia ran for yardage, they didn't get the big play. Maryland is the victor. And next week he hopes they embrace North Carolina State. That's who the Maryland Terrapins have next week. 27-20, Maryland takes down Virginia. Five losses in a row for Virginia, but Maryland keeps on rolling.